if you don't get excited about this, man, I don't know what will, will make you happy in life. So what's that? Yeah, right. We don't even have to go closer, but we will because it's awesome. It's the mother of all hair follicles this is with Dr. Pino here, the, the hen and chicks, right? It's a big dilated central follicle and it's got little tiny baby immature follicles around the outside that are draining into or emptying into the big cystic follicle. Classically, these are described as, as a big crater opening up to the skin surface. But like anything that is a crateriform lesion, if you cut it right down the middle, you have to think in 3D, cut it down the middle, it'll look like it opens the surface. I guarantee you this will open the surface, it just, we have to section deeper into the block or else we've already sectioned too far. And so what happens is, and this is true in molluscum or any of these kind of crater shaped things, in some of the keratoacanthoma type squames, they'll, if you cut just a little away from the center, they can look like a cyst in the dermis. So it's real important to recognize that cyst in the dermis and umbilicated crater shaped lesion, same thing, just sectioned differently, okay? And the center, the central cyst will look very similar to like a follicular and fundibular cyst or what some pathologists call an epidermal inclusion cyst. And it'll have a, a granular layer and a flaky loose keratin. And then looking around the outside, you can see little follicles and you've got matricle um, basaloid cells. You've got the inner root sheaths with those beautiful bright red trichohyaline granules and they empty into the, the center. And you can even see there's little, um, there's little hair follicle, I'm sorry, hair shafts in there too. So he was making hair shafts. So it's actually a, it's actually a, a relatively well-functioning follicle. Here's more of the follicle here. You'll see little papillary mesenchymal bodies or little, um, uh, mesenchymal stuff around the, the roots. And a lot of times, if you look from lower power, you can see that the, the whole lesion tends to be, it's a little harder to appreciate here, but it tends to be wrapped in a fibrous stroma, which is analogous to the adventitia that lines around normal follicles. Many follicular tumors have that fibrous kind of cellular stroma, as opposed to basal cells, which get that more myxoid, mucinous, loose stroma, right? So I think that's a nice clue for follicular neoplasia. When you see this kind of pink stroma that's separating the tumor from, like, see, here's the rest of the dermis out here. And over here, and if you go way back, you can kind of almost imagine this is like the border of the lesion. Out here is like where the stroma goes. It's like a circle around the whole thing. And I feel like it's a little harder to appreciate unless you've seen it up close, but I think that's actually a really useful clue that helps me with follicular neoplasms. So trichofolliculoma.